Farah. 31, took to her Instagram story on Monday where she confirmed that it would have been Derek Underwood's 33rd birthday. Derek sadly lost his life in a motor vehicle accident in 2008 and was only 18 at the time of his passing. One month later, Farah gave birth to their daughter, Sophia, who is now 14 years old. Posting a college of photos of her and Derek, Farah also shared a screenshot of a lengthy text message that she had sent to her teenage daughter. It began, Lunch and sweet tea time in memory of your dad, Derek, today. Lots of love and I'm proud of you over all the time it took me to work through pain body parasite is what they call it. But I'm proud of you with and without therapy and the weird communities at times through the years that you never made lost part of your identity and you stayed consistent in your own identity balancing and processing emotions in the most healthiest way. Farah continued, That's something to celebrate every day and the greatest gift of knowing personal inventory for all of life's wins and transitions. Love you, Sophia, and proud of you being a leader for me to get out of pain body parasite, she added. She also captioned the Instagram story post and wrote, There's so much more to celebrate this year on a loved one's birthday. Gratitude, appreciation, memories that last a lifetime, being a mom to the most amazing gift of a child and having my own identity back after 14-year-long journey with loss. Thank you and happy 33rd birthday, Derek. Cheers with our sweat teas and loving memory to you. Sick, the reality TV star added. When a screenshot of her post was shared on a popular Tea Mom online forum, people had mixed feelings about it. I usually can't give Farah credit for anything at all, but I have to give credit where it's due. I needed a new flair and she f asterisk kin delivered, one person wrote. When others commented on Farah's confusing text message to her daughter, one person defended her and said, It's word salad, but it's affectionate. Farah lives with some big regrets. But I guess we all do. A third Reddit user admitted, The entire topic of Derek makes me deeply uncomfortable. Someone else accused, I feel so bad for Sophia. Everything is about Farah. This isn't the first time that Farah has paid tribute to Sophia's father on social media. On December 28, 2020, the 13th anniversary of Derek's death, Farah took to social media to share a tribute 13 years later. I'm grateful I see F-A-T-H-E-R on your headstone today. A caption reads next to a carousel of photos of Derek's gravesite. I'm grateful for our family. I've learned more about the human condition bereavement, trauma, loss, and depression. Your life has made a world of difference to mine and so many others. In living memory, peace and love to D-E-R-E-K-U-N-D-E-R-W-O-D, the love of my life and F-A-T-H-E-R to our amazing and blessed at Sophia Abraham. A thank you, a goodbye, a always in my mind, giving me strength to make the world a better place. Blessed. And on December 29 last year, she posted a video of her and Sophia visiting Derek's grave with Derek's father, Jerry Underwood. The trio covered the grave site with flowers and Christmas ornaments as they cuddled with their pet pups. Farah captioned the lengthy post, Never thought this day would come. After one of the best days of my life, I wanted to share from my healed heart after 14 years of not being able to process a traumatic loss, I felt accountability. She closed. I finally got the peace, healing, and inner alignment I always dreamed of on my traumatic loss, and like many who say to me, I will always miss underscore 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 like you miss.